and today I'm going to be doing an experiment with the knots on this wig that I made. Um, this hair is from Yolisa Hair. It was like three or four bundles of straight hair and I made it using the hot glue gun method. And if you don't know how to do that, I do have like three videos on my channel where I show where I show how to do that and I'll put that on the info card for you guys. Yeah, so I have been seeing this on YouTube for maybe like six months or so where people are using the Sally Hansen airbrush legs tanning spray to bleach their knots. So I don't have a problem with bleaching knots. It's not that difficult to do. But um, if there's anything that I can do to make it easier when I am um, applying my wigs and stuff, I want to try it. So this is the one that I got right here. I got mine from Walgreens. And this was pretty expensive for me. It was like, it was $14.99. And I have it in light. So that's the color of it. And I think that'll be a good scalp color for me. I'm just going to flip this inside out my frontal and I'm going to put it on my mannequin I'm going to put it on my mannequin head I really hope this works so um, it's a lot easier for me to get through this process when I'm applying my so I haven't even customized it yet but when I'm doing my um, when I bleach my knots and stuff, I do that first before I tweeze the hairline. So, um, I have I have the tanning spray and then I have some got to be glue free spray just to kind of seal it in. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so that's what it looks like right now, and I'm just gonna. Ugh. I guess I put too much. So. I'm gonna lift it up and see what's going on underneath. So I'm gonna spray this on there, and then I'm gonna get a blow dryer and blow dry it so it's completely dry. looks like now so as you can see that looks that looks good that looks pretty good now I feel like this is a messy process but that was super easy Look at that part in space. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys how I tweeze the hairlines on my wigs. All right, so this is what I do when I'm customizing my hairlines. A lot of people customize their wigs differently, but this is how I learned when I went to a class. Um, you comb it in the opposite direction, baby hairs and all. You don't like separate them and you get some water i'm using my spray bottle here and i'll put the link to this one because this one uh, is a continuous flow uh, spray bottle so you just spray the hairline and then 
you just start sliding it. And on the sides, you take, you go back, like you slide back about an inch. And then in the front of the wig, you only do, you only do um, half an inch. I have a wig on and these are some things I've noticed about it. Some of the tanning spray did get on the hair. So um, I would get like a makeup wipe or something like that to wipe the hair off so it doesn't have like a gray cast. But the part of space looks really good. It shows up really well. So I am back and I have finished applying this wig to my head and I did show that process um, Yeah, so I just decided to do uh, the got to be glued spray method only because it's um, the easiest and it's the least messy and it has a really great hold to it as far as this Sally Hansen uh, spray tan stuff goes for bleaching your knots or faux bleaching your knots i feel like this actually really does work um now even when i bleach my knots i still have to put a little bit of um foundation powder or pressed powder on there and in the spots where i decided to put the pressed powder it looks a little bit 
ashy, but um, I didn't put any powder like in the front part and I feel like it, it looks just fine without any powder on it. I'm going to be using this method with more of my wigs. I'm still going to bleach my knots sometimes, but especially like when I have to meet deadlines and stuff for my, you know, my wig reviews and stuff like that. Um, when I have multiple ones that I have to do, I'm definitely going to save a little bit of time by using that. Um, and when I first sprayed it, it was very messy and I think I sprayed it like way too much because this is my first time trying it. And I did go back with a um, makeup wipe and just kind of dab it on there because you don't need that much, you don't need a whole bunch of it on there because it's going to seep through your lace and then get on the hair. But luckily it's not like bleach where it, it'll bleach the hair. You can just wipe off the hair that gets the spray on it. So I would recommend it, especially for people who are like me and you, you wear wigs for convenience. Um, and you, if you're wearing a lace frontal, you already know it's going to take a lot of work. But if you can cut down that work in any way, then I would definitely go for it. As far as this hair goes, this is, this is, um, straight hair from Yolisa hair. And I told you guys I made this into a wig using the hot glue gun method. And, um, I think it looks great. This time I didn't go for a super long length. I went for 18 inches if I'm not mistaken. I think this is 18 inches and I'm six feet tall and this is where it falls on me. If it is like a, a different length, I'll like put that on the screen. So this is what it looks like in all directions. This hair is so pretty and um, I recently did a synthetic synthetic wig review that was uh, a straight wig and I was just telling you guys how much I love straight black hair on me and this is why. It just It's very complimentary and it just looks really sleek. It's very soft and just put a little bit of a bend. I don't know if it holds a curl or anything yet because I'm just wearing it straight. Um, but I did put a little bit of a bump in the, the bang area right there. So, um, I'm probably going to do an update for you guys in a few weeks or so. Um, let me know what you want me to do in that video. Do you want me to do a styling video, a solid review video? Do you want me to add a little bit of color to this or something like that? You guys let me know what you want to see. A few strands of shedding, but, um, I did have to cut around the ear and a lot of hair did come out like this is all the hair that came out when I was cutting around the ear um, but it has a great fit since I did that and um, as far as tangling I get no tangling my hands just glide right through it it's so like silky and like soft the luster it does have some shine to it but it's like a very natural shine for a silky texture of hair so um if you guys are interested in this particular hair in this frontal, I'll link it down below for you guys um, on Yolisa Hair's website. I just want to thank them for having patience with me and sending me this hair to review for you guys. I, by the time this video goes up, I'm going to be finished with the school year and a full-time YouTuber. So, um, to all the companies I've, I've been working with, thank you guys for your patience. Now that it's summer. The turnaround for videos is going to be a lot faster so thank you guys for working with me and um if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe because i have a ton of videos coming up for you guys and leave your suggestions below for the types of videos you would like to see i've been getting a lot of requests for makeup videos and i love doing makeup videos but i want you guys to actually watch them so um if you do want to see makeup videos let me know um if it's a lot of people then i'll definitely do that for you guys I'm trying to get to 100k this year. Let's make it happen. Tell your friends and family to subscribe. Um, I feel like I have a little bit of variety of a little bit of everything on my channel for everybody. So definitely tell your friends and family to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and share it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.